Hi there, it's Carol with Carol B. Crafts. Today we'll be making the Starling Little Easter card. It says Hip Hop Hooray and inside Happy Easter. And this image, this little bunny, comes from the Sweet Little Something stamp set. It's a three-step stamp set. And I use my Stamparatus on it, but you could use any stamp positioner that you have. Now this is the card for my team swap. So my team's going to get a sneak preview before they get the card in the mail. But I wanted to go ahead and do a video because Easter is just right around the corner. Now I used a special folder for this basket weave. I used the uh, new basket weave dynamic folder. It's one of those where you only have to use one acrylic plate instead of two with your big shot. And I'm just in love with that. It's great for the Easter season and spring when we're using a lot of baskets and flowers. And it's not available in the catalog right now. The only way you can get it right now is to get it through the celebration program. And how that works is you um, you purchase that $100 um, or more at stampinup.com and you can choose a free a celebration item. Now with the $100 um, you can get this set. You can get other sets for a $50 purchase but to get this set you have to purchase $100. So, um, but this is a pretty cool gift. And so now the, the folder will be carried over into the um, annual catalog but the stamp set will, as far as I know, will not because it is a celebration item and usually they don't carry celebration items over. So if this is a stamp that you want and it's a nice big uh, basket here, I'll be doing an Easter card maybe tomorrow or the next day on using this basket and very similar to this card. Um, but if you want to get this, use the host code on my website www.carolbcrafts.com and you'll not only get your free celebration items, you'll get a free class kit from me. I give a free class kit with each $60 retail purchase or more using the current host code on my website. So that's a win-win for you. So let's get started on our card. I just fell in love with this little bunny and it's great. It's, uh, you can use it for Easter or you could use it for um, a new baby, a little something for your little someone, a sweet little some bunny. And so, you know, we are always using, we're always looking for new ideas for um, baby shower cards. Okay, so um, let me get started. Okay, I have my stamp platform and I have my stamps in place. And I started out with, um, let me get my paper. So I have a piece of just regular Whisper White that is four by three and one eighths, three and one eighths by four. And so I have decided I'm going to, there's like little notches here. And so on the second notch, the end of the second notch is where I'm going to place my paper. And then I'm going to put my little magnets there. And then I have one of the big magnets that comes with the Stamparatus. These smaller magnets, I'm using those because they're not as thick as this bar that comes with the Stamparatus. And I found that when you're working close to the edge, if you're using the big bar, or even when you're using this pad with, with um, photopolymer, this, this bar is so thick that if your photo photopolymer stamps aren't very thick, you basically have to push really hard to get a good image. So I've kind of regressed and gone back to my Tim Holtz <laughs> magnets. Uh, I still have the platform and I probably will keep the platform because it's a little bit bigger, but this has uh, this is great for cards. So um, I decided I needed some more of these, so I ordered some from eBay. So if you're looking to get some, uh, you can get them pretty inexpensively off of eBay. Just, just uh, search tonic magnets because tonic makes those magnets. So, um, so let's get started with our stamping. Now I have my stamp 
in, you can use any stamp case back underneath so that you get a good something solid to stamp on. So uh, when I started putting these in place, I put the stamp that had the most detail on the paper first. So I just kind of laid that stamp down where I thought I would want it. And then I pushed it over, got it on my uh, stamp flap, <laughs> whatever we want to call that, inked it up, stamped the image. Then I took this, get this off. Then I took the, the next stamp that has, it's kind of like the medium image detail and I laid it over that image that I stamped with the detailed image and the things that I used were the leg part maybe I'll show you on the on this so what really helped me out once I stamped this image was um, the legs this arm part right here where there there's a space the nose and then the, um, this part right here. I found that if I lined this part up here and the legs and the arms, then this kind of just went in the nose. It just kind of fell into place. So that's how I got them lined up. And then this one, I used the legs and the arms and the, the ears to line it up with the image that was on the paper. So the first stamp I'm going to do is the detailed stamp. And it's going to be in... Um, soft suede and I'll probably do um, two uh, images I may do it twice just so I get a nice dark image And then I'm going to, hmm, is that dark enough? Yeah, I guess so. Then I'm going to flip it over. And now I'm going to use uh, crumb cake on the next medium detail image. And then here's my crumb cake. So I'm going to ink that up. And I'm probably going to do this um, at least twice, maybe three. It depends. And I'm pulling this up uh, gently because this likes to stick. That photopolymer is very sticky, which is good. That means it's a good quality photopolymer, but it can also pull your paper up too. Um, I think, hmm. Yeah, I think that's enough. Okay, so we're ready for our last. So see, I can just pull this up. Now I could could put this up here, but my desk is not that big. <laughs> so for me, it's easier just to change out the plates. Whatever's easier for you, that's what you should do. Okay, we have our little bear and it is just darling. So I'll move my magnets apart and we'll put our card together. So I have all the stuff that we need for the card. This is the inside sentiment. We have our ribbon and our twine. And this is for the outside sentiment. That's going to go here like that. And then we have our embossed crumb cake. And let's go ahead and fold our card base. I can get my foam folder here. Okay, so here's our card base. Thick Whisper White. And on top of that is going to go our Calypso Coral. And that is... Uh, four and one eighths by five and three eighths. It's going to go there. On top of that, a piece of Whisper White, 
three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And on top of that, our embossed crumb cake, three and three quarters by five. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my crumb cake ink and get the little dauber with crumb cake ink on it and just do the sides lightly or you could do it a little heavier if you want just to give it a little dimension and then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to lightly go over it just a tiny tiny bit I don't want a lot I do think that we need to stamp this image. We need to st stamp the Hip Hop Hooray and we need to stamp our inside sentiment. And so I'm going to use the stamp -a jig for this only because for me to do sentiments it's much easier to use the stamp -a jig than to try to get it all straight on the uh, stamp apparatus. So I've got it about a quarter of an inch from the bottom and a quarter of an inch from the right. Make sure it's level. And let me get my ink out, my soft suede. Now I already have this stamped because I've been using it so I don't need to stamp the image. But, but what I do need to do is to put my um, piece of paper on a larger piece of paper. I had been putting it on this big sheet but it kept ripping it and I thought that's really wasting a lot of paper so I started using a smaller sheet just a some you know scraps that I have. So this way my stamp -a jig has something to stamp hold on to because it's such a small piece of paper. Um, okay, so back to where we were. <laughs> I'm going to put this on a quarter of an inch from the bottom and from the side and level. And now I think I can put it here in place. Looks good. Yep, looks good. Hip hop hooray. That's such a cute saying. Hip hop hooray. And whoops, it moved. <laughs> I can never talk and do something at the same time. It's hard for me. Okay. I'm hold that in place and stamp down and up. And now that's finished, ready to go on top of the piece of um, Calypso coral. And gently pull it up so you don't rip the paper. You can rip the paper underneath, but you don't want to rip your cardstock. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my cardstock stock since it's so sticky. So my cardstock, my Calypso Coral, is three and a quarter by three and five eighths. Let me get my. Oh, you know, before we put <laughs> before we put it on there, I'm just kind of confused. All right, so we need to mark three quarters of an inch on the back from the bottom with the pencil. So this is the bottom, three quarters and three quarters, because we're going to put our twine on first. This is a little out of sequence, I'm, I know, so I'm sorry. So we have a piece of 18 inch linen twine. We're going to wrap it around three times starting at our three quarters of an inch mark. One, find my mark. Two, and three. And then stick it in that uh, adhesive. Okay, so now it's ready to go on our piece of Calypso Coral. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. I'm going to use my little waxy strip for keeping it in case I need to change it. Now there's a sixteenth of an inch on each side and an eighth of an inch at the top. So that might help you. 
or thereabouts. It doesn't have to be exact on the top. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and stamp the sentiment, which is right here. And that piece of Whisper White is three and a quarter by four. And I'll get my piece of paper out again, turn it down here. And we're going to put this on our paper. This one we're going to use the Happy Easter right here. That was cute. Hip Hop Hooray and Happy Easter on the inside and then these three little flowers. So I have this on a D block. I am going to use my uh, Stamp-a-Majig if I can find it. And um, Happy Easter soft suede straight down and it's going to go about one and, a, one and a quarter inches from the top that looks about right and ink it up whoops that's the wrong one that's hip hop hooray let me ink up happy easter okay straight down and straight up and then now I'm going to put the little I don't need the stamp on jig for this I'm going to do this just by line of sight because I have the big flower on this side and the two smaller flowers on this side so I'm going to ink this big flower up and I'm going to put it kind of right here and I see I made a mess there I don't know how I did that and then um, the two little flowers are going to just go right there and then we'll color them later. Now if you wanted to color these little images, um, I use the Calypso Coral watercolor pencil. You can add water. Um, I use a, an empty brush and I just touch the tip in water. But I think I'm just going to color these and just leave them colored. I'm not even going to add the water because they look just fine like this. Okay, so that's for the inside. We'll get our Calypso Coral that goes behind it and that is uh, three and a half by four and a quarter. Put that on. There's an eighth of an inch all around it. Now this is ready to go on our card base inside. So we'll use some snail for that. Okay, and then um, we're ready to do the outside. So we'll start with our base Calypso Coral, four and one eighth by five and three eighths. On top of that, our Whisper White, three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. On top of that will be our crumb cake, three and three quarters by five. And since this is embossed, I'm going to put a little bit more snail on it than I would normally, just because I want it to stay on there, because I live in a humid climate. Now we're going to put this on the front and I'm going to do that with many uh, dimensionals. And we use quite a few and I'm using those because they are not as thick as the large, the regular size dimensionals and I don't want them to be that thick. Okay, I may have put 
too many on there, but that's okay. Now I'm going to put some regular size dimensionals here at the bottom. I'm going to take all of these um, off, all the backings off. Now this is going to go on the back and uh, we want it even on the edges and just a little bit lower at the top, more distance, just a little bit more distance at the top than on the sides. Um, not quite even top and bottom. We want a little bit more at the bottom than the top. And we have it there where we want it. Now it's ready to go on the top of our card, just like that. And we might have put this on the card first before we put the other piece with all the dimensionals on there, but I think it'll be okay. This is going to go on the card. Now we're ready to do the bow. We have a piece of, um, looks like it is about seven inches. We're going to take it from the top and push it underneath all of these here. And we're going to make a loop just like that, just a regular little loop. Then we're going to take this and wrap it around the loop and through the little loop we just made and pull it through. Careful not to pull the little ends through. And it'll naturally want to flip around like that, which is good. That's what we want. And we're going to just play with it till we get the loops to the size that we want. That looks about good. So I'm going to cut it so that the ends are about even with the white paper. Now all we have left to do is the little uh, calypso coral bow for the hair. Now this would be for a little girl I guess. I have some other sh options to show you before we uh, end the video that you could alter for maybe little boys. So we have our Oh, I didn't tell you. This is 8 inches of the 1 8 inch Calypso Coral Sheer Ribbon. I'm just going to make two loops with my hands. Cross the right over the left. So that's where we're at right now. Then this one is going to go behind and through this little loop right here. So behind and through. And pull it tight. And then we're just going to play with it till we get it to the size that we want. It's going to be pretty small because it's going to be for her, her hair. It's going to be like a hair bow, a tiny little hair bow. That's about right. So now we're just going to cut the ends off like this. We have a little hair bow. We just need to use some uh, glue dots to put that on. I think one glue dot will be enough. Put the knot on the glue dot and squeeze it. And then put it above the ear just where you think she would have a bow in her hair. Just like that. Okay, so we are done with our Easter card. Our sweet little sum, sum bunny, some bunny. Sweet little something. <laughs> they should have called it sweet little somebody. All right, so um, let me show you the other options that you have. These are the cards I'm going to be sending my grandkids. So we have um, we have this one, an old olive. I put the bow, the one eighth inch sheer old olive ribbon, under his uh, collar. This one is in uh, dapper denim, and I use the striped. Dapper Denim Gross Grain Ribbon. This one is in Old Navy. I used the um, gingham, Old Navy Gingham Ribbon for a bow tie. This is the um, 
Berry Burst, and I used the Berry Burst Gross Grain Ribbon, but I cut it smaller, a little less than half, and then tied a bow. So these are the other options. The It's pretty endless. You can do this with any color, with matching ribbon that you have. And so I hope that you will give this a try. Practice with your little sweet, little something uh, stamp and enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll be back tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure. I can't promise tomorrow with another Easter card featuring the Blossoming Basket Bundle. Thanks for watching. Bye now.